Hello everybody, Perp here, and today I just want to do this video for fun, and it is, um, I'm just gonna talk about my favorite joke, my, uh, the four jokers from the cinematic universe, not cinematic universe, but, uh, from all the live-action interpretations, and I was gonna scale them, so let's start out with Cesar Romero's Joker from the 1960s Batman show. Now, um, I'm not really a fan of the Silver Age, because, I don't know, it felt like just kind of stripping the character to be this toast in milk, um, just toast and milk kind of Down Syndrome thing, not Down Syndrome, just, just toast and milk wash out of the characters, and I feel like the joke was really affected and all that. But he was, he did at least keep the comedy part. I know that, because he was, I mean, his entire thing in that age was that he was just a prankster, so. Yeah. I do like the design, though. I think that the perp, the, the pink jacket, instead of just normal purple, and the like, kind of palish green hair do complement each other very well. And it did start it all. It basically put the standard for what the Joker would be back then, because. The Joker's a fairly skinny character, but almost all the actors that played them, except for the Suicide Squad one, have been not so skinny and more kind of bulk towards the top. They kind of go into a thing. Similar to how the animated series did in Batman and Beyond. Kind of like that. Next up, we'll have Jack Nicholson's Joker, and uh, God, do I love Jack Nicholson as an actor. He was in The Shining, and The Shining, and The Shining, and also The Shining, and Batman, but also in The Shining, and I love The Shining, so, uh, totally biased here, but, I mean, this is, was, um, this is an opinion-based list, but, I think it's a very interesting design, I mean, it was, of course, at the time, all you had was Cesar, Rom Cesar Romero's Joker, so, for its time, it did take a couple risks with the, like, the blue tie that was before on the Joker, as far as I know. It did take a few risks for its time, and it was uh, very entertaining. Um, he did... I like how they actually get, like, this mold thing in his mouth to give him an actual smile. That's something I'll uh, talk about later with the other two Jokers, and actually all the Jokers in general. I don't like how they don't have... They just have, like, they don't have, like, actual smiles. They just paint on this stuff. Yeah. And... But uh, some it did... So it encapsulated a lot about who the Joker is. It had a good design. It had a good actor. But this isn't the best Joker for one reason. And that's because they explained everything. They told us his backstory, his motivation, all that. And I think the Joker can, can't even work without a motivation if he just, like, avoids the question. I think that might be a kind of a good idea, maybe. Interesting idea that you don't know why he does what he does. He, it's like he doesn't even come back with like Arch, say, a Sergeant of Chaos thing. He just doesn't answer it. He does what he does. I think that might be a cool thing. Next up, we're on the Dark Knight Jokers. And let's just kind of get right into this since everyone loves this guy. But he's actually not one of my favorites. He has a good design. He has, great, he has good writing and a good character. There is one problem. There is about like two problems I have. One, he tells, like, one joke in the entire movie, and for someone named Joker, he might want to, you know, tell some more jokes. And the second problem is, he's just killing Joke Joker. That's pretty much him. There's not, there's not really that much to set him apart from that different kind of Joker. He just, he's just the killing Joke Joker. He even, like, has, like, the one bad day thing, I think. I don't know, I watched the movie very recently, and it kind of fades away. But it is a good movie altogether. And he is a good Joker, don't get me wrong, but those are like two little harps I have. Next up is Suicide Squad Joker, and um, I gotta let you know this little secret. Um, this is my favorite Joker, and I'll just explain why. It took risks. Now, if those risks were good decisions, it is up to debate, but I do have to admire them for trying to go in a different direction, of taking more risks. And, of course, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting direction to have him be a gangster. And I think it was very entertaining to kind of see him in this place being a gang boss. And it actually is a big inspiration for um, my version, my little degree design, and the way the way he acts as a mafia boss, I think, came a lot from this Joker. And But he didn't really do a good voice. I feel like it's because the grills messed him up a bit. He's like this, like this really bad voice. But what I do have to praise him for is that he's similar to the Golden Age, which is 
Before this, Jack Nicholson's Joker was like the only one that did anything similar to the Golden Age. And that's pretty much it, and I'm gonna rate them all. And so, Cesar Romero was a 7 out of 10. He had a good design, but he was he was modeled after an age which wasn't very really nice, wasn't very good, but for his time, he was a decent Joker. Jack Nicholson is a 9 out of 10. He has a good design, but they explain too much. Dark Knight Joker is an 8 out of 10. He's just a killing joke one, which means he didn't take enough risks that much. He was just really, he was just a more darker version, which isn't that much of a risk. And he told no jokes, practically leaving out on one side of the entire character. The Suicide Squad Joker, I would say, is a 9.5. It took risks at an interesting direction. The voice wasn't very good, and it was not in an overall, it was in a decent movie, but not a good movie. And that's pretty much it. And I want... Just to test you guys, I want to see you guys design a, your version of the Joker. But, keep this in mind, you can't use the color green. And, just like purple. You can even have purple hair, you can take a different color and throw it in there. Do whatever you want, but just send your designs, and in about two weeks, I'll make a video judging them all that come in. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.